Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to use the RA2 Pro Rotary Attachment by X tool with your NegeMaster 2S and NegeMaster 2S Plus. Now this video is in response to uh, one of your comments, so I've decided to basically show you how to work. Now I have an in-depth video covering the uh, configuration, installation, and setup of this rotary attachment, so I'll, I'll leave the link in the video description below. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you that, yes, you can uh, use this rotary attachment with your machine, um, and since I'm covering a specific machine, I will basically show you uh, the actual parameter. So, first thing first, uh, about the connection of the rotary attachment, you will need to use this short jumper with the black connector so not the white one you can see over here these are the two jumpers that are included in the package so not the white one but the black one and you will connect it to the wiring that goes to the y-axis stepper motor which in this particular machine is the bottom stepper motor so once that is done uh it is time to jump to the computer so I can quickly show you what parameters to use um, in both chuck and roller modes. Now bear in mind the parameter I'm going to show you uh, they are based on the current configuration or arrangement so with the stepper motor of the rotary attachment on the back side. Alright so starting up with Light Barn, which is the easier of the two software um, of course connect your machine. Now you must have the enable rotary on and then you can choose whether you are going to use your uh, rotary tool in roller or chuck so open this up now let's start up with roller mode uh, now in roller mode don't forget these two parameters um, which are given by x tool itself to work and in roller mode don't forget you will not need uh, the object diameter or circumference. This is just for reference here. But these are the two important ones. And uh, with this specific machine, you will need to work in mirror output on. Okay, so the, uh, the y-axis will basically uh, need to be mirrored. Okay, so once that is done, click on OK. Um, one thing that I have covered in my in that video is that it is best to work in current position. Okay, do not use absolute or user, just current position. Um, set up where you want the origin of your object to be and you are basically good to go there. Now in chuck mode, again, go over to the rotary setup, go to the chuck mode. Here, the important parameter is the millimeter per rotation, which is 160.14, okay? Uh, and your object diameter, for example, in my case, I have a 43 millimeters object okay and in check mode you will not need your uh, y-axis to be mirrored so uncheck that and once you're done you're basically good to go and go as usual select frame do whatever it is needed all right let's now jump in laser grbl now in laser grbl if you work in roller mode there is no parameter to change however uh two notes first thing first um I've noticed that it is best to disable the uh, homing functionality of your machine if your machine has a home. So in our case, there is, uh, the machine has micro switches, so it has an homing functionality. So to do that, go over to GRBL, GRBL configuration, um, look for dollar sign $22, which is homing cycle disable, and you will set this one to zero, okay? Uh, then, what other um, settings to change? Now, if you do a test and you see that your uh, writing or whatever it is that you are trying to engrave is mirrored, you will need to invert that. Now, with this machine, I've noticed that dollar sign three, which is step direction invert, which normally is set to three, should be set to one. So you will come over here and you will set it to one. That is in order to work uh, with a roller. So once you're done with that, actually let me change this also to zero. So we are doing that and then you click on write. And so config written 
and you're basically good to go in roller mode, okay? Um, now let's see the check mode. Now back again to GRBL, GRBL configuration. Now in check mode, uh, the same like in light barn, I noticed that this machine does not need to mirror the Y axis. So click it again, set it back to three, uh, leave the homing cycle disabled. Now here the important I showed in my video, um, you will need to change the dollar sign 101, which is the Y axis travel resolution value. Uh, which normally it's 80. This uh, here you will need to input the result of a formula, which is very simple. It's um, 12,800 divided the circumference of your object in millimeters. So in my case, for example, with a 43 millimeters uh, object, uh, that uh, calculation yields to 94.75. Okay, so once you're done with that, you click on write, and then you close. Okay. And this is pretty much all. Now, very important, uh, if you're working with laser GRBL, when you finish to use your rotary attachment, don't forget to set the parameters that I've just showed you back to original. So you go back to GRBL. Uh, so the step direction is already correct. Now the homing cycle, it's supposed to be one and the parameter dollar sign 101, it's supposed to be 80. And when you're, once you're done, just simply click on write. All right, so this is pretty much all. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comment, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more video like this one. Ciao for now.